Hey guys, how's it going? How's it going? Welcome and welcome and hope you're all having a wonderful day. I need to the game volume to check comes. Yeah. There we go, that's better. Alright, there we go, that's more like it. Now, I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. It's uh what day is it? It's only Monday, yeah. <laughs> the, probably the suckiest day of the week for most people, yeah. Yeah, we're not going to be playing any hill today because un unfortunately Hellsafe is pretty freaking knackered, which is understandable. <laughs> oh, I know that feeling. <laughs> Come back for the weekend and just immediately just work and just so, so tired. <laughs> yeah, that sucks, that feeling, I hate it. <laughs> the amount of times I've almost fallen asleep coming home from work and just like, I don't need to stream today, do I? Hmm, I, I just want I just might rest. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be playing once once human, and I really don't know anything about this game. Like, absolutely nothing. The mo the most I've seen about it is just stumbling upon some people playing it as I was going past my online streamers that I watch. But I I know nothing besides it's, it's an online multiplayer kind of thing, and. Looking at it, it's, it's made by Netties or like published by it, and I'm like, ah, oh, that sucks. Because Netties is like really, it's not a company I want to have anything to do with. It. And Netties is not a good company. They, they like nickel and dime, and yeah, I think they're like a Chinese company. I think. Yeah, they nickel and dime the crap out of you and make some really, really awful game. And I've not heard anyone really. I've seen people play this, but I've not really heard anyone go on about it, so I don't know what... Everyone is going on about First Descendant here and there, but I've not really heard anyone speak about this one too much. I'm, watch I'm currently watching the Endgame movie right now on the title screen, and the graphics looks nice, and some of the themes look really interesting. I don't know. We'll, we'll give it a look in and give it a try. And uh, there we see when I see when I found out it was published by Netties and then I found out it has no controller support, I'm like Oh, do I play a different game today? <laughs> oh, I'm so tired of uh like the third person games without controller support. I'm so tired of that shit. If it's like a strategy game or like a top down one or anything that doesn't have you controlling a person in third person or first person, I don't mind it, but when you're in first person or third person, I kind of really want to have a controller. Because it just makes sense to me. I've been playing controller for most of my life in those types of games, so yeah. Uh, I'm not going to judge it just yet. I'm, I'm very tempted to know. I'm very tempted, but we're not going to do that. Um, I'm just hoping that the themes are going to win me over. I've turned off like all the in-game chat, I've turned off people's mics, I've turned off my mic, I'm not having any any interaction with any other people vocally, if I can help it. Well, I can't help it because I've turned it off, but yeah. I make sure none of that, that is going to happen. Uh, just in the off times, I'm going to double check my setting, see if I, if I save that. Oh, that. Yeah, they did. Good, good. Like it. Cause yeah, we've we've seen what happens before when you you jump into a server with just the general public and people you don't know. It can be really, really risky. So yeah, I'm not taking that chance. Nope, not even slightly. I don't think I've. Sounds like Final Fantasy. I don't think I've actually played it online with people I don't know. Mostly to prevent that kind of thing, because that's that's such a risk. <laughs> but anyway, enough yammering on about bullshit. Let's actually. Why is the capsule not there? I specifically freaking capture the game. Why is it not there? Why? Why? Why is it not there? It should be there. Game. Why? Why? Why are you not on my screen? Why? It's, it's capturing, but it's not on the screen. Where is it? Where is the freaking game? 
Ah! Where's the freaking thing? Where is it? Just get hit. Get hit. Why don't you do that? It's gonna be one of these games. It's gonna be one of these freaking games that requires you to. Go into display capture to actually capture the dancing. Hmm. It's not a big deal, but it's, it's kind of. I don't have to deal with that. There. <laughs> you know what's the weirdest thing though? The game's like, oh, the server you've selected is very, very busy. You want to try these ones? It literally is a select the server that has a low player account. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. And we, uh, what? Right. Double chance to jump back to just camp real quick. Now I'm going to jump back to gameplay. It's probably just it's almost there. Yeah, it's it's a thing. Yeah, definitely. So we're going to display capture. One, two, we go. So yeah, you know the you know the white bar at the top. It's because I've got it in windowed. Because you know I've still have it in windowed. I think. Hello, freaking stream from out. Because sometimes games are really nice when they go full screen and they let you like take your mouse. Oh, yes, it does. Not too bad. Yeah, I yeah, will go with that. I don't know what it is with certain games. Certain games are like, you have it on full screen, we're not going to let you take your mouse out of the screen. Weird. Anyway. Uh privacy. Oh, so nice he's in Hong Kong. Yeah, since Hong Kong was uh Nettie's was mainland China kind of but doesn't really make much of a difference nowadays, does it? Uh, I've seen people who are getting a quite a bit of umbrage because the game's terms and conditions says that in certain circumstances they can't have access to your personal information. But apparently that's because it's a Chinese game, and it's to do with like their region, and, like the social stupid credit bullshit. I was interested in this game until I mentioned force multiplayer. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, what do you mean the freaking servers full? There's a low population. And welcome, Annie. So you're having a wonderful, relaxing, chill day. Ah. Uh, why is it? Why is it there? You literally said it was a low population. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. What about this one? Low population. Is it... Do you mean it's overloaded? There's no... Ah. Uh, I guess this thing is broken. This bit is broken. Love it. Good first impression. Yeah, I don't like the idea of uh, force multiplayer. Is it the same thing with Ark? If Ark forced you to be in an online server, I would never play it. I much prefer being able to like have a private server and just play with either yourself or just everyone you know. Uh, but I guess this is just another way that they just I don't know, keep tabs on people. I, I never. Is... All right, this one. Fuck it. Just like me in the goddamn game. Come on. Come on. Let me in. It's flies to wanton boys are we to the gods. Tell us for the I'm not expecting that William Shakespeare quote. Our lives have followed. Oh! Yeah, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome in. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Alright, what is this? Our world is broken. Well, this broke. Fallen into the abyss. Is death stranding? Okay. But everything is 
born from darkness. Even the universe itself. Now, do you see it? A glimmer within the void. The spark of life still burns. And evolution forges a new way forward. It's a weird type of evolution, just dismantle. Yeah. Once your faith overcomes despair, once you move beyond death, once life returns to this world. Ooh, I like that. Look at that. Is that a freaking Is that a train car? Turned into my... Ooh, I like that. The one way this game can win me over is its, it's design. Green Spider, let's go. Yeah, that looks freaking cool. I like that. <laughs> Look at them now. Absolutely not. This is totally dead. Death Stranding, isn't it? I mean, look at this guy. Ooh. Okay. One version just plays a female character for once. You know what? Why the hell not? Strap in everyone, this is going to be the next door. I think I'd be customizing a hailing today, but here we are. <laughs> just give her the just the biggest hailing. Uh forehand. Oh yeah. Angle. It makes me think of Ellen Page a little bit. Graphics are. At some point you've got to ask yourself, why why this extent of customization? I, I get some people can do amazing things. Like, I bet with this you can make almost anyone because of how much you can change things around, but... Just like with the Dragon Age Inquisition character creator, I'm just thinking to myself... It's too much. It's a, just a little bit too much. I'm going to, where do they have to go? I'm going to go back. Actually, no, this is the best way. I remove the hair and then we do the face and then we'll get a full view of everything. Then we'll do the hair. Yeah.
<laughs> Look at the chubby cheeks. See, I don't want her face to be too like chubby looking, but I also don't want it to be too gaunt as well. I want kind of like a in between ish kind of thing going on. Oh, that's better. I do not see. Yeah. Oh, oh. We're gonna get to the end of this and she's just gonna be the most basic cast ever. <laughs> uh. Hey bravo buddy, welcome in, how's it going? Just doing some character customization up in here. <laughs> thank you for this snuggle, thank you. We're gonna be at this for a while, the character customization is very extensive. Yeah, it's definitely extensive. Alright, hi bro. Definitely changing the eyebrows. I don't want it. It's it's like broken up like a leaf. No hail today. Nah, unfortunately. Uh Safety's too tired. That's nah, just the way of it. I hope he's having a good rest, because yeah, some days you really do get that after you your work, you just need that kind of chill day, you know? If I wasn't streaming today, I'd already fill in. Yeah, that would have been awesome, but I think, I think I'll just stick with... Because I, I want to see through at least the first two games with Hellsafe, and then once we move into Halo 3, then, then we'll get you in. I'm not sure who... Who we're getting for the post spot? Who else? Who else has Halo? Actually, oh, I forgot on full display. That's the worst wording of that. <laughs> I forgot I'm showing my display capture. Uh, give me a second. Let them have a quick look. Who else actually has Halo? On my friends list. Now I'll probably be busy in the next few months. Ah, oh, that sucks. Uh, I'm not. I'm not surprised, buddy. You you have the most hectic schedule these days. 
Uh, uh, that's a pain in the butt. I mean, maybe we could get Bun on. What's the people on my on my friends list that have Halo? Or I guess I guess we could get Kramer or Arrow on. I suppose there's no reason they couldn't both play those. Uh, yeah, this week is like the, the cough. It's only going to get busy. Jeez, seriously? Oh, buddy. <laughs> if only I could give you like a proper full hug. Because, oh my god. The idea it's going to get busy is just insane. Oh, th thank you for using the the, 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 the art that I commissioned in your, your schedule. That was really nice to see. <laughs> I, I love that you like it. I really do. Oh, good job on getting first Bravo. Good job, buddy. Yeah, use it. Use all illustration art. Hell yeah. <laughs> am, I, am I actually stuck with that type of bro? I, I, I don't want it. This is it. Is it such a weird thing? The game's like, we're gonna let you customize the shit with this. We are not gonna get bored. Survivors, no, we can't be having that. Any of my lost stuff? St ah, that makes sense. Yeah, I forgot about the lost stuff. I forgot they were going back for another year. Yeah, I, me I remember when when you were doing the lost stuff before them. Oof, oof, jeez. Uh, Savage Raiden, even my streams have to be halved. I'm not shocked. I'm really not shocked by that. I think most people would struggle to find time for anything with that. Because you got the, the law stuff, you got the Savage Raiden and Final Fantasy supporting. you also got the commissions as well. Streaming. Yeah. That was so pretty. Yeah. I freaking loved how that art came out. When Aki first showed me that art, I was like, he, you know, he asked me, uh, do you want me to change anything? Do you want me to fix anything up? I was like, no, it's really freaking good. He, he did notice, like, when he finished, uh, you, you know the, the, the plaster for the nose? He noticed that and was like, oh, oh shit. Should I have added that? And like, nah, you're alright, you're fine. It's supposed to be like an ocean of coal, you know, party kind of thing. So I was like, nah, you're, you're perfectly fine. It was interesting, they made me a legit cat girl instead of lying. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be using the Aki again. Any future art um, birthdays in that, I will absolutely be using it. I'm using the services. Hi, Brian. Oof. Got the... Got the... Whatchamacallit? The... Was that Neanderthal bro or something going on there? By the way, before anyone says I'm not trying to create like my ideal uh, woman or anything, I cannot design <laughs> and these any of these character creators for shit. So yeah, if I end up with something that looks vaguely attractive, I will be the luckiest son of bitch ever. <laughs> I think that looks fine. We're gonna have to fix the nose though. I remember in Dragon Age Inquisition, I spent about 20 minutes because <laughs> that was one of the few games I decided I'm gonna actually try and make the character look like me in the game. So, 
so I took a picture of myself, like face on, and like adjusted these sliders just enough to be like, yeah, that's that's my nose. That's what my nose looks like. I, I was there for so long. <laughs> and by the end of it, the character didn't even look like me because it was a canary. Like, why did I even bother? Ah, there we go. This is so pointless. I don't know why I have to have like a flat head done that. Huh? <laughs> She's got a completely flat head. Jeez. Uh, how do I fix that? Ah, oh, it's probably this one. So how's it, how's everyone's day going so far? I hope you've been having a nice chill time, everyone. Uh, I spent. I spent basically all the morning building giant ass freaking bat. <laughs> oh, I hate it. I hate this bit. Because the thing when you do the eyes is it can look fine the character creator, but as soon as you start the game, the character tilts a certain ways and the shadows hit them just I'm I'm gonna say just right, but just wrong. And you're like, that's that's terrible, I need to Go back and fix the entire thing all over again. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, here. Here, here, I'll say, buddy. Thank you for the head bats. Welcome. And hope you're getting a good rest, buddy. I really, really do. Uh, oh, no. I should not start touching the eyes. Hmm. I need it. I bet you did, buddy. I bet you did. <laughs> when your body says rest, you need to rest. I mean, I wet this. And I rank on. Do I need to do this? I I know I don't. Welcome to my excessive compulsion when I get customization options, I have to toggle every single one of them. Is the character creator over the top? Uh, yeah. Yeah, the character creator is quite over the top. And also surprisingly lacking in so on always as well. Like I cannot select the type of eyebrow she has. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I I can't select the type of eyebrow she has, but I can adjust 
change it every way I want besides. Because, like, I'd l I want our eyebrow to, like, be, like, more solid instead of, like, broken up like this, but... Yeah, love me, I can't... I know, I know. Character creators can be so much fun. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a game out there that is just a character creator and that's all it is. <laughs> Upper violence. This is the worst time for her to have I learn it on because I cannot make out anything with this right now. Dragon's done with two character cut demo. Oh true true. I've still not checked that out. Oh you seen something she's been surprised by? I kind of like when the eyebrows kind of, at, at the eyelids kind of come partly down a little bit. <laughs> Why? Uh, there we go, that's better. Those are some big ass eyelashes. And you got a couple quite no worries, buddy. Yeah, those are some real big eyelashes. Jesus Christ. Uh, the funny thing about eyelashes is. I keep meeting people. Well, it's, it's actually been a wee while since. But for a while, I used to get people coming up to me being like, I wish I had eyelashes as long as you do. <laughs> and it, like, it, they, they were saying to me, it's not fair that a guy gets to have eyelashes that long. But my eyelashes are so short. And, you know, just that kind of stuff. I wouldn't complain about it too much because the amount of times you get stabbed in the eye by an eyelash is just like. Uh. <laughs> Those are. I don't know, like, adjust the eyelids, uh, the eyelash. I really don't want to fuck. I think that's it. Just. Just. Yeah. We'll stick with that. Everyone. The nose, I hate the nose. I'm so picky when it comes to nose. Nasian? What was a Nasian? I mean, is that what they call that? Like, yeah. I wonder I had that called that before. You know. This needs to get brought, brought in. Oof. Oh, Jesus. No. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Uh, 
I think I need to go back a little bit. That's that's um Ah uh, no. I fixed Oh god. I should not be allowed to touch this this stuff. I just make a travesty of it at first. I don't know if it's because I'm customizing it, I'm just really particular, but that's all right. Oh, special knowledge. Uh, I'd like to have a point. One. I mean, it looks fine from the from your know, here. From the side. And it's kind of throwing me off a bit. That's a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, that's looking nice. And a little bit. A little. Yeah, that'll do. I'd mess with a bit more, but I'd, I'd, be, I'd just be fixing that all day. I didn't even notice she had like purple lipstick. That's actually kind of nice. Oh, you can give her an overbite or a underbite. Okay. <laughs> what is that? Okay. Uh, all right. I think I'm about to finish. All right, yeah, let's go. All right. What the hell is a cupid's bow? I don't know. What is it? Ah, it's a, it's a little, it's a little bit in the middle in the top left. Ah, interesting. <laughs> Oh, bravo! Sorry, buddy. I think Maple's gonna win it. Yep, Maple's totally gonna win it. Yep! But that Maple, congratulations on winning the Battle Royale!
Oh, that's a lighting. Ah, ow. Hey, G, buddy. How's it going? I'm doing good, buddy. I'm just doing a bit of character creator and what's it called? Being human? Yep. Oh, uh, no. Once human, that's what it's called. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, buddy, and congratulations on 300 followers. Well done, buddy. That's an awesome milestone. Uh, Helena started having a look at this yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah. So I, I saw that she was playing it on, on Discord yesterday. Yeah. Hope she's having fun with it. I've I have no idea. I uh, so it's a character, character creation stream that takes like six hours. I know, I know. It's gonna it's gonna take a bit. Uh, I'm still gonna take a little while. Not bad though. Oh, Bravo! Thank you for giving G a share. Thank you very much. Thank you, yeah, we're getting back up there. It's like a costly now. Yeah, costly, hell yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm go Ooh. All right, I think that's the face basically finished. Yeah, the face is basically finished. Uh, oh. Oh gee, I spent I spent earlier on today most of today building a freaking giant ass bat for my Age of Sigma army. It's freaking huge. I'll need to post that in the Discord at some point. All right, here styles. Oh, wait, how do I? How do I change what hair color? Uh, what here's now? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Well, not going twin tails. No. <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of nice. What's that? Well, that's got the um, Joe Valentine kind of vibes going about it. Oh, I kinda, I kinda want to do that. Do black hair. There's red highlights. Oh, it is, but between this and Baldur's Gate, highlights kind of weird. They just, they just don't really look the way I really want them to. I might just get the highlights and just go straight up black here. Yeah. Uh, so I forgot you said I told my PC to do a hard drive error check on restart. Apparently it has nine hours. Jesus Christ. Oh. Well, that's been extensive. <laughs> I hope it, hope it finishes to another nine hours. <laughs> Genuinely. Oh, I can change the eyebrows. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I like to see. Yo, I, I, I don't know what it is in anime. I really love this, this eyebrow type where it's just a, a, a tiny little bit in the end. But in, in 3D, it just doesn't really work the same.
Ah, screw it. What was that? And what is that? I shot. Ooh. Ooh, this is, this is like next level. I shot. Oh. Jays. What's that? And eyes, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. I'll save buddy, I wouldn't worry. All the miles as you you get a nice nice little rest. That's kind of, I like that. What about that along with some Oh wait, 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 can I choose like the different Ooh. Oh, thank you for the head pass. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, I like this. What about if we max it? Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh, that's so cool. That's fun. It's not like I overdo it too much. It should be cracked down. <laughs> yeah, she's feeling cracked up. Oh I, can, oh, I can do beyond 15. Let's go 500. Oh, 500 intensity. Alright, I can't do 500 intensity. Game. That's, ooh, a color palette. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? That's probably I don't I don't know why it's like yellow at the bottom. The game's like, oh there's there's different colours of eyeshadow, I'm not most not much of a different. That's fine. But we'll go with that. Not too much, it's not too showy, it's just just enough. It's not going full on we are the main character, you you better listen to Oh Jesus. Okay, that that's main character eyes right there. Such a yeah. Jesus. <laughs> he's all these. No, it's what? Oh, blush. Ah, okay. Oh jeez, I look at that. That is that is blush for someone who just discovered what blush is. Hmm. Max intensity. Yeah, I know it's, it's pretty dire. We'll go for just a like heinous little hint. Like, so. Yeah, that's fine. I, I, I like, yeah, I quite, I actually quite like that one.
Yeah, I'll wait. <laughs> These me hurt me. I mean. <laughs> oh, I know that feeling, G. I once visited family, and the kids were there with, with anxious to show me Minecraft. I'm like, I have no idea what the hell I'm looking at. Because Minecraft has added so much these days, I have no clue. Uh, skin color, how do we go palish? Like, they're really good. <laughs> you see, so you can do stuff to it. Fair enough. Yeah, it's well confusing now. I like create creative mode that I can do that. <laughs> if if I get access to Minecraft, all I end up doing is I build one of two things. I build a one to one scale of one of the pyramids in Giza. I don't know why. Or I build a castle. It's either one or the other. I don't know why. That's just how Minecraft goes for me every single time. Oh jeez, got a lot older suddenly. Rico was bad a little bit. But maybe we should do a collab with Carol and get her. Oh my God, Jesus, can you imagine? Could you freaking imagine that? Actually, speaking of that, I did kind of, kind of have something like that. Uh. Because it was ages ago, Carol invite, invited me to Nero's Minecraft server. I think Krim also had like a house and stuff there. This was ages ago. <laughs> and I remember then I was like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So she started walking, walking me through all the individual things. And Nero was explaining like enchantments and things. I'm like, what the hell is an enchantment? That's what we see great interest in traps, exactly. Uh, I'll have a pitfall trap if you skip shit. <laughs> you gotta love traps. I have never used redstone though. Redstone is so complicated. I see I saw recently that people had made had made an actual working computer inside Minecraft. That had a graphics card, that had a processing unit, had everything but made in Minecraft. And do you know what it, it ran? It ran Minecraft, so they played Minecraft inside Minecraft. Wild. Absolutely wild. And they got to play, yeah, yeah they did. On giant roller coaster, I got to have a roller coaster to get around everywhere. Yeah, the roller coasters are a lot of fun. I'm too lazy though when it comes to the roller coasters. Because there's so much, he needs so much iron, I'm like, ah, or I'll just run. Uh, uh, that's, that's looking quite nice. War paint. Ooh, war paint. That's, that's just Ace's war paint. <laughs> Uh, first clocks that work to IRL time and now PCs damn redstone peeps are good gods yeah they are they are insane like good at what they do I just I could never have that much patience oh that's kind of nice I can be a teacher for you now, I'll teach you the Minecraft and numbers. Oh, buddy. I don't, I don't know. 
that sounds like a lot of work. Thanks. It's basic math. Ah, uh, maths. We need to do maths now. It is eight. Eight times eight. Sixty-four. Quick math. Five times seven. Uh, five times seven. Thirty-five. Quick math. I actually can hold him once. Ah, that makes sense. Oh, this, this is so I can have multiple things at once. Ah, 99 times 99. 9 times Quick math. <laughs> Ooh. I freaking love this. Hey, hey, look, we can make ace in the game. Can we kind of add the ears? That would just be perfect. It really does feel like branding for this. run with that. It's just subtle enough that we could add a story on where she's got like a scar and she got this tattoo done on her on her eye to like semi cover up cover up the scar. Yeah we're 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 totally running with that. Like even exactly as it is. Yep. Yeah that's probably enough. I don't think I could justify Another, another like facial thing. I gotta be careful here. What's the chance that this game actually has full on muted? Oh, good, it doesn't. Okay. All right, hey. We'll go. It's six and nine. Nice. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. What if we go to like ah like ooh at the back? So that's like muscle mass, okay. Oh just around it. Yeah. That works. Long legs. Eh, uh, flat butt. <laughs> uh, Alright, okay. It's fine. Head size. Ah, oh, we're not doing head sizes, are we? As soon as I start messing about with this stuff, that's when things are bad. We don't make things just a little Oof. Was it just in the waist, not stomach? Okay, we won't go full supermodel, we'll go for about here. Yeah. That's fine. Waist thing.
It's about people that wanting to create like a plus size character in this, but like <laughs> they they saw that these meters the max was like this. They're like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> uh there's probably story reasons as to why the characters can't be plus size because you only have to be in combat and stuff, you know. Oh, what is this? Uh, so if you get five blocks of tree logs, turn them into wood, use four to make crafting table, then place two wood in a column that makes sticks, then place two sticks in a column, two wood on top of top row above, next you make a cross. Yeah. Now use a. Uh, yeah, I remember this basic, basic Minecraft. Then place charcoal on the bottom plot. Then boom. Yeah, I remember that. I was just reading through that and like that's just that's just basic what you do at the start of Minecraft. Okay, what? <laughs> because they're basic math at me. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, we're, we're going for, Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we're going full thickness. Okay. okay. Okay, yeah. Max that out. <laughs> max max that out as well. That is not that is come on. Sorry sorry for that, I just had to have a laugh about it. I wanted to see how you'd what you'd say. No worries, buddy. Fine. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Oh, damn it. I'll get tears in my eyes for that, Jesus. I saw hip size, I'm like, alright. We'll make we'll make the hips wide or something, I don't know. And then the butt just get just gets so much bigger. <laughs> oh Christ. Awesome. Alright, so many Yeah. Okay. We'll go for about yeah that makes sense I think. oh wait was I already in here did I just oh yeah I just went I just went back to the same thing again then I uh just set okay, so, okay. Of course. Why am I? Why am I even surprised? Hmm. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the pet bat. Thank you. We'll we'll make that about middle. And just to even things out, she's she has a big ass. She has like really really small chest. There we go. That evens things out. Oh, we'll give her a little bit just to be nice. There we go. Are you making your female the way you try to make your girls? <laughs> uh, I don't know where I'm going with this character. I really don't. It's all over the place. Quite fine. Go oh, for that. Ah, you want 45 is fine. What? Bye. Ooh. Ah. 
There we go. She's got all that power in the lower body. Alright. One bit body. Does this game suffer from only short hairstyles in Attica? Uh, do you know what? Let's see. It does have longer hairstyles, but they're not like exceedingly long. Then the other option is just bald. Right, yeah, we had our, had our yeah. Body paint. Yo, for the longest time, I did kind of want. This kind of sleeve tattoo, but then I kept seeing everyone with with that kind of sleeve. I'm like, ah, uh, now I just don't want it now. <laughs> I know it's, it's 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 a weird thing. Like for example, when I uh, when I was going to school, a lot of people in my year started learning the guitar, and I kind of wanted to learn the guitar, but seeing that everyone else was learning it, I was like, nah. I don't, I don't want to. Ooh, that has a Hanya mask on it. <laughs> Installing. <laughs> awesome, buddy, awesome. Uh, ten stick. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I like that. That's very good. I think that I think I might want it on. Wait, what? I don't like that on one arm. I see. Yeah, no, but it sucks. All the mouse and cute. I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, I tried so much before the start of stream to try to figure a way around that, and I just couldn't find it. It annoyed the shit out of me to the point where I was. I was actually close to finding something else to play because I'm like, I really want to play keyboard um my controller and it's not like me. Really, really annoying. So she can only have sleep on one arm. That's so bizarre. Now we're going right into the other tattoos. Not that. That's good. She's just gonna have one sleep, that's fine. Building toward we'll do it. I think that's probably yeah, alright, let's see if I part Ooh, I like that. I like this design of an outfit, it's really really unique. The cartigration. Yes. What's it going then? That one. Someone's gonna have them, but I'm gonna I'm gonna trim a lot here. Of course, of course, someone has it. Why wouldn't? Hmm. 
Dude, this is what I hate about MMOs. There we go. Liquid nitrogen, negative 195.79 Celsius. Physical movement or brain function not detected. Subject hey, that's mean. Stable. Dagger still stuck in the sheath. Inspection 481 complete. <sighs> Requesting a higher power outlay for the isolation chamber to prevent any further outages. Ooh. This is like a start of prototype. Okay, so we did something. Oh, well, guys, the game's actually starting an hour and 20 minutes later. Ooh, I like the graphics. Oh shit. We've been kinda stabbed. What? Stab. That's what everyone does as soon as they come out of coma, isn't it? They immediately just inject themselves with a random solution. Uh, yeah, this it makes no sense why this does not have control support. Even with a keyboard and mouse right now, it feels very controller friendly. There's no controls. It's, it's so strange. Good job there. You you just drank some uh, some water through a, a mask. Ammo. Okay. Deviation A07 secure member. Oh, so this is like. SCP kind of shit, okay. Access code for Chrono Cage experiment area must be char uh, changed daily. Today's code for D23 experiment data is 0728. The code has been updated and confirmed by the supervisor Jing 3 SO641. Update the code after completion of today's experiment plan. Be informed. Level 2 research. Okay. So we are one of the SCP. Uh, containment specimen. Oh, hello there. Subject A073 is an adult human. SD gender. Oh, come on, that's late. You could have just had that auto generate from what the player put in at the start. Come on. Oh, wait, no, no, no. You never got to choose your SNSD. Ah, okay, I see what they're Identity unknown. Subject's body has been in a state of stasis ever since being recovered from following. The cause for reappearance is still unknown. Subject has been hailed by an object made of an unknown material. With likely origin in rift space, subject has been placed in isolation compartment via safety protocols. All bones are broken. Those things are like, okay. So, we aren't an SCP. We have been exposed to an SCP. And because of that, we've been putting containment. It's like I'm playing control again. Um, I should have been paying attention to that. I should have. Zero seven.
Get me the hell out of here. Hello, buddy. An intact cradle was covered in your subject A073. With the design and manufacture consistent with those used by the MIF. The energy stored within the cradle shows unusual signs of activity. It seems to become more volatile when near subject A073. The cradle has been placed in a separate room for safekeeping until more research can occur. Alright, so we need to get our hands in that cradle, wherever the hell that is. Oh, is this? Oh, this is the cradle, isn't it? Hi, me. And there was a bird. Hello. Well, it's good to see another face. I thought I was on my own, and you're a many human too. Uh, you know who I am? I don't know who you are, but I know what you are. You awakened the cradle, and that's something only a metahuman could do. You've lost your memory. Do you remember who you are? You got a lot of amnesia. A condition that is so rare, but it's used constantly in... Wait, what? Why, why am I why am I frozen? Why is why was everything frozen for a second there? What the fuck is going on? Oh, there must be there must be like some sort of bet going on right now that's tanking performance. As soon as we get through this cutscene, now I'm gonna turn down the graphics. It must have been that fluctuation just now. It trapped me in the cradle. It could have robbed you of your memories. You can call me V. It seems that our interests are aligned, Metahuman. No worries, V. Why did you call me? I came to secure a deviation. A paper butterfly. But I think something must have scared it. Right now, though, we need to move. I can show you the way out of this place. But only if you help me complete my mission. All you have to do is listen to what I... Okay. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna have to mess with Sen real quick. Performance rank from very high down to <laughs> wait. Why is our why is our mid, middle very high and very high? <laughs> uh, the first time you switch graphics quality, shade of loading will take. One of... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's better having that than having to deal with stuttering and freezing and shit. Seems the performance is back up and running again. Jay Boyle Mall. Okay. Go. Cool. Now the weapon you currently have equipped is shown here. If the slot is empty, it means you have no. Yeah, I've got you. Okay. It is basically just going to end up being cool, isn't it? Yeah. This is a life form that has been infected with stardust. It's called the Deviant. Our world has been overrun with Deviants ever since Starfall. Ordinary humans can't take high levels of stardust exposure. When they do, they end up just like that thing. But you're a man. You should be fine. 
conditions are right, you might even be able to use Darnas to your advantage. Entre. So good. Wow, we got high. Hell yeah. Ow. Why am I getting bonked? Wow. Uh, notes can be scattered all over the world. <laughs> Gee. Read them to learn more about the past. Read notes of eight. This is a priority alpha research operation. Any findings related to our project butterfly must be directly reported to it. This operation has been designated high uh, top security. Any personnel who violates it, its confidentiality will be to care. So what I'm getting for this so far is it's basically control, but multiplayer and made by a Chinese company. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Did he see me? He saw me, didn't he? Oh, 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 oh. Bollocks. Well, my leg is injured there. Hey, you little asshole. The controls definitely are all though. So. Deviation of unknown level detected research area. Deviation appears to consist of multiple floating butterflies. Isolation compartments may be compromised, requesting emergency measures. All right, all right. So they really didn't did not want people to get into us for some reason or another. Did that run. Oh. Oh. Thank you, my jiggy. Okay, so we got a bunch of food. Okay. I'm gonna go back down because I want to check the old portal that was down there. I got a feeling we're gonna get more loot to do that. Yep, here we go. Perhaps. I think there's actually base building in this game. Base building in like an SCP supernatural game. I don't know what the hell that's been a little. Hello. Oh. -ho. We're only seeing them occasionally in like wooden screens, but some of the monsters look so. Visual fluctuations often cause anomalies in time, allowing past scenes to be witnessed once again. Activate space time to locate spatial theater, where events and people from the past may reappear, potentially revealing truth. Okay. Before we do. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, this is all just control. Yeah. DDT 011? 
My name is Victor Hammond. What's your name? Hey, Vicky. Ah, so it's for you. It was all my fault. My butterfly. It's flying. Yes. Your first deviation. Everything. Look how gentle it is. I remember my name now. It's Mitsuko. It means child of light. It was my first creation. Now create more. So she must be where she was camped. Or she just made tons and tons and tons of butterflies. Again. We need something powerful to challenge the evolutionists. And I think I finally found it. You. Hey, we can secure other deviations. We can use them to forge a new path and bring about true evolution. This will be the Mayfly's mission. This is why we'll fight. Mayflies? That's right. Mayflies. Small, yet invincible. Humanity may seem puny now, but we'll prove we can endure. So what, is it like a post-apocalyptic situation where they're like fighting humans or something? And they're using the natural people to fight the I have no clue. Is he got a freaking mimic attached to his head? Oh buddy, you cheating asshole, I can't back backstab you like this. There you go. Wait, what? Ooh. -ho -ho. I like that, that's pretty cool. down there. Hello. Oops. Hello. Oh, now we're here. This is really unexpected. This is really, really weird. And we'll just get that small house with just all the auto turrets in front of it. Hello? Hello? Ooh, nice little lecture. Here. I do love when games do this. I cannot play the piano.
The, the fact that it allows you to do this. Really nice. Yeah, that, that is a very, very nice feature. It's not like some games where it's like they pretend to add the piano where they just have the character like just play random things. No, you can straight up, if you know the keys, just play it. Also, you can even calibrate it as well. Yes, that's that's really good. After some trial and error, I finally managed to add a working containment function to the cradle. It should prove use quite useful. We'll have to make use of as many deviations as we can if we want to beat Rosetta. And I'm guessing Rosetta is Oh. Okay. Alright, so we don't have any supplies to kill. I don't miss school. You made it back. You're still alive. Yes, and look what I found. A meta. Only just woken up. They were kind enough to activate the cradle and set me free. Thank you, meta human. Your help means a lot to me. You can call me Mitsuko. I used to be a meta human as well. Rosetta did all kinds of experiments on me. That is, until Lee saved me. Oh, Ooh. right. Okay. So, so like the S SCP Foundation, the, the ones that are keeping supernatural things in check, are they going to be the enemy? That's good. Mitsuko is a very special meta. She can sense even the tiniest fluctuations in the stardust. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. You're safe here. So we all used to be Rosetta's test subjects? That's what Rosetta does. At first, they just locked deviations away. But then they figured out that deviations could be harnessed to make humans stronger. That's when we commenced their experiments in the name of human progress. As a result, they created metahumans like me and you to Rosetta. We are the few. It's just smash cut the button face. The harness stardust that they value above. We need fine puzzles. That's all they care about. And they're not wrong. Meta humans are mankind's last hope. We were created by Rosetta, but we don't take orders from them anymore. We left. We call ourselves the Maple. All right, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, so let's paper butterfly is devious. few other metas. The recent fluctuation must have startled it. The important thing right now is to secure it and ensure it's safe. See that thing in the center of the room? It's a device for securing deviations. This makes them more useful and safer to be around. Is recovered. I think it likes you. We actually like collect supernatural things and keep them in containment. Oh, I love that. That's actually what we do. Yes, I assume what we do with this is basically just use them as power sources. That's I'm not quite sure, but that isn't that literally what she was having go at that facility for doing? Because we had supernatural powers and they used us in experiments for the benefit of people. Aren't we doing the exact same thing? Just right after she says that was a bad thing. Master Isn't there a target to attack with butterflies emissary targets in the direction your face prioritized? Attack to sync deviation radio engaging combat. Right, so it's like a pet thing. If we take it out of this, we can use it as like an accompaniment. Like NPC, to just sh shoot him. Stuff. 
Argus of Guerrilla Tactics has delivered significant military success so far, but I'm afraid it's not enough. Rosetta is clearly planning something big. If the Mayflies limit ourselves to strengths on minor targets, we'll never be able to stop them. Sure. This is such a jarring location, though, compared to that lab we were just Received a disturbing report that Rosetta is developing some kind of secret new Silver Gate technology. Currently reopening the monolith island and activating the Silver Gates with Raphael. If true, this could prove catastrophic. Did they learn nothing from Raphael? Just up here is probably going to be the last diary. No, that, I guess that's. Bring up a map. Many, many people don't want. Battle pass, of course. I guess it makes sense there would be a battle pass because the game is free to play. Uh, <laughs> I, I like to have a go at games for having like microtransactions, but when the game is free to play, you kind of need some way of making money. I don't like it, but <laughs> a choice. Deviations can be very dangerous if not taken care of. They can radiate stardust, which can lead to all kinds of unpredictable consequences. I don't need deviation. This is why we created the Mayfly. We make cradles and security inlets to keep deviations contained. We're finding ways for humans and deviations to live in harmony. This is our best chance of cleaning up Rosetta's mess. It just sounds like you're trying to do the exact same thing as them, but less assholey. What exactly are deviations then? Anyway? No one's exactly sure what they are. Just that they're not bound by the physical laws of our world. They came from another dimension, something we call Rift Space. What are you? What are you? Have you seen yourself? There's no way you're not a deviation. When deviations get stressed, they release stardust. We think this brings our world and rift space closer together. Sometimes it becomes possible to pass between the two planes of existence. And when that happens, all hell breaks loose. We believe that's what caused Okay. What exactly are you trying to do? Some deviations are friendly, like the butterfly. But others... Yeah, Barra, let's go! Good luck. We must be prepared. The stardust just keeps spreading. And I'm not sure why. That must be a siren. Shit, we must have gotten through. Shit. Come on, Meta. A deviation from this the ultimate showdown. Let's go. Oh. Down without a fight. Oh, Bravo's still alive. Yeah. You may actually win this one this thing, buddy. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah. was winning this. All right, just Bravo versus Busy, let's go. If Bravo somehow loses this. <laughs> and it's Bravo for the win. Well done, buddy. Well done. Still can't do a game capture. Take the butterfly with you. It can help. On trezels. Combat deviations are a special type of deviation that, while well aggressive, will take instructions from the humans once secured. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, thank you. Uh, 
Different combat deviations have different abilities. Make sure to use a combat abilities you gain. Yeah. How do I? Oh, I've already got it. Okay. So we keep it in this. It straight up is control. If it was combined with Death Stranding. Yellowfish, nice. Weapon crate, awesome. Go. The armor slot shows the armor you currently have a quick quick to switch to mount. Click the view uh click to view your new gear and double click. There we are. We need to find a pair of trousers. Exactly. Grab a gallon tool before you start collecting resources. It's much faster than doing it barehanded. You can craft gallon tools at your campfire, uh, campsite or a supplies workbench. The more advanced the tool, the more quickly you'll be able to. So how do I craft? Random pop or how do I craft shit? Use pickaxe to gather rates. Do I have a pickaxe? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do. I do. Yo. Okay. And now we play the crafting game. Like, uh, oh. Let's pay attention to hydration, lack of water reduces movement speed, drink boiled water for hydration. What we need to do is get some gravel. I think that must be a mistranslation because saying gravel up there and like the pop or so. Eh, A little bit more. I oh, think if it was so easy to think up or over. in the real world, it was just sitting above ground like that, you didn't have to dig or So now we're done with that bell over there, I guess we're in start making your own location now, away from the tutorial area. So let's go for a little run and I'm going to decide what's my favourite location. I'm not going over there, I'm betting that's like straight up enemy base territory. What? What the, what the fuck is this? What is? Why is there a barrier? What the fuck? Hey, buddy. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on. It's just a big barrier. I don't think the game is gonna let me leave the tutorial I won't until I'm completely finished. Thank you for the invite. Thank you. All right. Hello, Mister Dios. Let's see. 
have a ten of all these deals. Can I just run up and not ant? That reminds me, you guys been watching the deer? The... Oh, oh. The... Yes! The meme anime? For the deer? It's, it's such a good time. There we go. We've got food. What the hell is this? I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. <laughs> mm, I, can't, I can't remember what it's called in Japanese, but I just call it... What, what, what's the English title again? It's my dear friend something something something. So a lot of people just call it, what is it, Shika Noko Noko Hosh Tan Tan. Or whatever the hell, I just, I've, I've watched the opening a ridiculous amount of times by now. It was insane, because I, like, I was watching the opening for the anime the day it came out. And it, it got like over 2 million views within about like 6 hours of being released. That's how hype people were for that, that anime. Uh, Shika Noko Noko Push Tan Tan. Yeah, that's the one. EKJ's <laughs> anime. I didn't actually know that was the actual name of the, the show. <laughs> I just know that because they, they just will not stop saying that in the opening. Chika noko noko no push tan tan. There we go. One is just getting an anime. <laughs> I have got enough anime. I still remember the one where it's uh, dragon has to find a new accommodation or whatever the hell it was called. It's about a nervous dragon that was going to a realtor to try and find a, a nice new house. <laughs> yeah, the dragon made one, yeah. Ah. <sighs> I love that anime. That's just such a good feel good anime. I love it. Especially Elma. Elma is just. It's just such a good character. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw season two. I loved it so much. Because I, I was sad at the end of season one because you saw so little of Elma. And then in season two, it's just. Full to busting. She, she just likes this sweet so much. There's nothing in Oh, is that, is that already in here? Do I remember that bad? Oh, I actually breathe up. Did I like set up a camp inside this? Uh, a new. That's a shit. I still have to watch that plus, plus size elf on me, but. Wait for it to fit. Plus size elf. Oh, yeah! I've not really seen much about that, but I've seen... That I've seen, like, uh, CG, or whatever the hell they call it, like, graphics. Of it, it does look like a good one. I don't know if I can watch it in Country, though, though. I have not seen it on Country, so I don't know. If I can watch it, I will definitely go on it. Uh, craft with bare hands and a campsite to craft basic gear. Okay. okay. As we have, we survive better on both. Okay. Craft your hands. How do I? How do I like take my? How do I take my shell. Oh, I can change the question. Oi. That's the goi. Uh, craft beer. All right, so that's just basically food. Weapon crafting. Torch. Yeah, give me a torch. Wow, it's a torch. 
I saw Clippin was like main main character the same in that scene. <laughs> oh. All I've seen images of it, I assume it's like a an elf that just ends up eating too much stuff. Because I I seen an image where she's like grabbing on like the fat in her stomach. I'm like, <laughs> that must be such a fun anime. She loves her fries. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'd love that. I need more feel good anime. There's so much isekai out there. I just I just want to watch something that's just comedy and just slice of life. Oh, being a witch. I saw not being a witch. This has nothing to do with slice of life. I recently finished the first season of Power of God. Of the rare reverse isekai. <laughs> it's so rare though, a reverse isekai. Uh, what was it? What was the other one? The last reverse isekai I saw was. Actually, it probably was Drag Maid, technically. The uh, last good one was Eight. Hmm. Does that count as a reverse isekai? Because I know that in like, was it the second season or was it halfway through the first season and get, they come into, into Japan itself? I don't know. If they only come back through to our world in the second half. Yeah, because most, most of it takes place to like create a, they create like a, shit, what do they, what do, what do they call that? An embassy, they create like a, a demilitarized zone. In the isekai world and you know they use that to get back and forth between japan and stuff it's it's actually i find it really interesting how it goes through like the political side of things how would our governments handle negotiating with a medieval isekai setting it's really really good i've uh, been a while i should watch it for the first time <laughs> I just love watching it for Rory Mercury. I freaking love Rory Mercury. Especially when she's telling off that politician in, in the Senate. That was that was really good. <laughs> uh Clip is secondary, yep, Clip is secondary. Armor crafting. Yeah, there we go. Have you seen Outbreak Company? I don't think I've seen Outbreak Company, no. Uh Rawhide, alright. We need to go hunt some more deer. Yeah, we need to hunt some deer. Yeah, hunt animals. How is the food situation? The food situation is a bit rough. Dude, that's my anime. I need to watch it then because that sounds fun. Just send me like a IMDB of it on on Discord. I will I will get right on that. Bear in mind, I can watch it on Crunchyroll. If I can watch in Crunchyroll, I will get one that. In second. And there we go. There was a done. Every company's great. Ooh. Let's get Bravo Seal of Apuro as well. Hell yeah. I have never heard of it unless I've heard Yaku yeah, name. Oh, oh, that makes sense. That would be why I've not heard of it. Because I don't have Netflix. I don't have High Dive. I don't have Amazon. Oh, so, yeah. Because so many anime are exclusive these days, I keep missing out on a whole bunch of them. Hey, anime movie night. Anime movie night would be so fun. Alright, I'm just looking up. Alright, so it's in, in, in the Prime, you see it? Okay. I'll show fancy, creative, and hilarious. Okay. 
Uh, your man is offered the job based on his knowledge of manga, anime, and video games. Yeah, like that would never happen. <laughs> okay, let's see the images. Yeah, that's yeah, that's definitely what I was expecting. Wait, does the main character get turned into a girl, or is that him in the background? Of the hmm. I think that was an interesting cast. That's him. Oh, so that's him in the back. Okay. Because <laughs> I was wondering myself, why, why is, why is the main character like? Not center stage. <laughs> All right, let's let's hunt them. More here. Yeah. We need a trousers. This is this is uncivilized. We're walk, we're walking around with our ass hanging out. Where the deal? Oh, see one. I ah, see one. Yes. I wonder, is there any like. Yeah, like. Impact bolt, maybe? Oh, perfect. That was easy. Right, there we go. Let's head back and build some cars. Let's do it all together with it. Ooh, you get first person view. Um, I switch camera how? Ah, okay. You know what? I don't actually mind this so far. This is actually pretty decent. I just wish I had control support. Besides that, I can't really be complaining. Get your ass back here. I need that ass to build my trousers. My ass is far more important than yours. I don't think I got any hide off of that. Don't even ask me how, but nope, no hide. It's got that MMO thing going on where they, they send you out to collect hooves from from like antelope or something, but none of the antelope have any hooves. Quite love when that happens. Okay, where's the rest? See the attacking the Oh, is it? Ah, oh, right, because I've crafted all the stuff I need. The game's like, oh, you need to go back and help these people. What about if I don't? What if I just let them do their own thing while I get trousers? Let's see, make sure I don't forget where my house is. Probably a sprint button, but not found. Probably healer. Ooh, yeah. I wonder if that's like straight up the place that we escaped from. And if we went like right inside there, we found where we started. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. You better have again. Yeah. 
Yes, he has skin. Hell yes. That's such a weird sentence, but that's how it goes. I'm trying to figure out what the gameplay loop is. It's, I think it's going to be you basically just improve your stuff, like your equipment, and then attack one of these Rosetta facilities, and then just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Over time, I guess. And we have jeans. Yeah. Hey guys! We don't have a beer ass anymore. Hell yeah. All the ass men out there are crying. <laughs> Alright, let's let's get back. Actually. I'm gonna read this survival guide real quick. Maybe it'll tell me how the hell a sprint. Oh, there we go. A uh, lot more sprints. Left it right. Right. Wish you have to take a sprint. Okay. And fight. What? Why is that that we're going to be fighting just the natural? Yeah. What? Oh God! Hello. I don't know what I was expecting, but I was not expecting that. Hey Kratia, welcome and How's it going? I hope you're having a wonderful day. What the hell is that thing? Oh, I don't know where to start here. Yeah, I'm, tr I'm trying to uh, uh, once human today. It's actually pretty decent so far. I actually didn't have me. I will admit, I did not have the biggest of hopes when I found out this game was by uh, Netties. But it's a pretty, pretty good. My day's going better than it started. At least it's getting better. That's good. Oh, 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 problem, problem. Shit. Yeah, I need to be careful. This siren so strong. Ah, uh, it's not as strong. You seen this health bar? Oh yeah, the butterfly, shit. Now you'll see for yourself what it's capable of. Uh, how do I... I remember I got his phone when going to work and on my way I could bring him his phone, I got stunned by it. Oh, that sucks. Uh, so not only do you need to go out and give him his phone back, nature's like, you know, fuck you. <laughs> Here's a wash thing. I bet then sting you anywhere like too bad. It'd be like really uncomfortable. I guess those things are just by default pretty uncomfortable. Ooh.
Hey, Mexico. Yep. That was a difficult fight. Just driving it away was enough. And it was all thanks to you, Meta, for saving us. Hey, I'm not Facebook. You can prove that. You're tougher than you look. That's twice now you saved me. It was huge. How did it get here? Like I said. We think deviations are sometimes capable of passing between the physical world and rift space. We'd be wreaking havoc in the physical world right now, even as we speak. So what? We're not in the physical world? Where did it go to the physical world? Yes. Mitsuko created this rift space. A refuge from the dangers of the physical world. Or so we thought. Interesting. So this is like a pocket dimension. Okay. Do you think that deviation will come back? What if it returns with greater disruptions? It's possible. We can't just sit here and wait, though. Meta, will you go back to the physical world with me? When I got to the nearest train station to his work, I found out that the buses don't run the normal patterns between the sudden and the half time. But the travel to the station so I can take the bus. Oh, that sucks. Ah, oh, such a pain in the ass, creative. I hope the buses didn't take too long. I mean, even though you had to take three buses, but yeah. I was hating that happens. I remember once when I had to go to work and I don't know what happened because usually when I went to work, work when I when I worked Glasgow, I had to take the train. But because it was a summer, they said something happened, like the leaves fell on the track, and because of the heat, they kind of like melded to the track, walked or something. So no trains were allowed to Glasgow. So I ended up having to find a bus to take that was full of people. And there was no seats. So I had to stand for about two hours to get to work. And by the time I got to work, I was about two and a half, almost three hours late. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, I was not in a good mood that day. <laughs> Thankfully, this this was a while back, but I I, I get what you're, you're dealing with. It sucks when that kind of stuff happens. And by, by the time I got to work, I'm like, why did I come in? What was even the point of this? This was not worth it. Uh, sounds like we have no choice but to go after that thing. Uh, Take the butterfly with you. Put it in your cradle. E. That way, I can lend you some of my strength. Hopefully we'll meet again one day. When the stardust is stable enough, it looks like this is goodbye. I must have take today over getting stranded. True. Before you go, if you have any questions, I can try and answer them. Yeah, I'm fine. Let's get the tutorial out of the way. Wait, what? Oh, hey? I think we've officially entered the game world. Oh shit! I'm just kind of home, yeah. Huh. Look at that. Twenty years after Starfall. I could just enter the bar royale. Luna, did I end up accidentally picking the same world you did? 
Because I'm I'm seeing your message in the world chat now. Uh, good luck finding a good base. Date which server did you choose? Uh, what server did I choose? The game kind of railroaded me into just picking one. Because I, I saw one that was low population. I'm like, I, I can't wait to do that one. The game's like, ah, we're not going to let you do that one. Snail, server launch. Fibrillation, go both server launch. Live. Gifts. Oh, it's like important. Don't be dead. Yep. I do a check what server I'm in. Not clue, but you're about to fly. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Territory terminal forms the base of your territory. It defines the area in which you... Yo, I didn't even think, but... I, I forgot the PvP is a thing, where people can destroy your shit. So I specifically picked the PvE server, so hopefully I'm not going to get my ass kicked in as soon as I build a basic base. <laughs> Hopefully not. Because <clears throat> if that starts happening, I'm not playing. <laughs> That's why I don't play ARK online, because, yeah. Did you go on PvP or PvE? I went on PvE. Because I didn't want that to happen. If we take and structure home as there is ARK PvE, yeah. But, like, I do ARK with a private server. Friends. Da, 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 da. to construct your home as you see fit. Because, like, the idea of fighting players over territory and that just does not sound fun. It's always a better option, yeah. I, I, ju I just don't enjoy that. That's that's why I don't really get Rust. <clears throat> that not the whole thing with Rust, where the server just resets, everything you built just disappears. Nah. RPV, so yeah, RPV is pretty chill, yeah. Yeah, you know, when it doesn't crash. Right, how much, how much stuff do I currently have? Do I still have all the stuff I have? Alright, apparently still. Okay. What the hell is this? August. Oh, so these are like Dark Souls messages, okay. Okay. Alright, I'm seeing where things are going. There's a lot of random bases around here. We plan to do our ascended on a private server, but waiting for some people to be ready. Oh. Mm. That's the thing, they'll try and, try and get people to... You know, because a lot of people are busy, it's, it's hard to find people to play for long stretch of times on a private server. Cause I've got friends that have private servers of different things like Minecraft and and uh what's oh that was an old one. A uh, power world. I just don't have the time. It sucks. A game like Arc requires a lot of attention too. It can do. unless you like adjust the sentence. A lot more manageable because for example, arc, base arc, it takes so long to tame a T-Rex. Ridiculous. But when you adjust the sentence, it's far more player friendly. What the f- is, what the hell? Dreamline? Are these freaking scarecrows? What the hell? Hello. Shoot it. Okay, I'll shoot it. Awesome. Nice. Nice.
Ooh, kill. That's not that. What was it like? Something a lot more dangerous? You were thinking? Oh, that's not him. I was like, ah. I am glad it's less dangerous because. Oh, that would have sucked. If I just like shot something or ran up and stabbed something, it just did like, no damage. <laughs> I was thinking of caught me by surprise, I had a lot of fire. I'll try to be careful. I do you think of just any area that's not got a base already still? I'm gonna like properly isolate myself. A little bit thirsty. Okay. A lot of people like playing these kind of games for a community sense. I like to find just the most remote place in the world. And if people want to come chill in my base, they're free to. To be fair, I expected, I expected since I was checking a chest, that was a pretty weird spawn. That's where I'm intending to occasionally saw and sell. Oh yeah. What, if, what about a base just in the middle of this bridge? I bet people would appreciate our ways of this territory already. Oh, I just got level up for running. Hmm. Go on later. Yeah, see, that makes sense. Because the game would be like, yeah, we're not we're not having players obstruct the other players. Can't build on roads. Yeah. That, that that does make sense. That's a more advanced start, yeah. I'm just going to go north. Alright, map. What are we look. I feel right now. Right. This vehicle. Ooh, there's vehicles in this game. I didn't know that. Oh no, it's fine. Fine. I don't really consider that a spoiler. I'm just gonna keep running north and popping places. Not gonna kill me. And just set. Ooh, I found a, I found a pickup. Oh, That's a lot of stuff. We get ready for work now. No worries, buddy. Thank you for the, thank you for the luck. I hope work is, hope work is pretty chill for you today. Our trunk. Ah, is that just a, like a dress or is it, can it only be used in the material? Which weapon slot shows the range? Uh, th thank you, it's going to be hot and we're going to have eyes on us. Uh, that's a bummer. Well, I hope they, hope they cut, cut you some slack and give you like some water and stuff to drink. Yeah, that dress, I guess we can't wear that dress. Bummer. Can't drive a car. Alright, I've decided. As soon as we hit the top of this hill, that's where the base is going to be. Right next to this one, Mel. And that one. And that one. Jesus, a lot of windmills. Did you hear that? I don't see any other player bases up here. Like right there. What the fuck is this? Hello. Who are you? Why are you level 27? Let's 
Stay there. Stay no. Stay there. Don't shoot me. Don't be an ass, please. I said, don't be an ass. I might. Oh no! Oh no! Why did I like this place? <laughs> I'm I am so fucked. Can I get your gun? Please tell me I can get your gun. I think he's gone, but I got a grenade. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh fuck. Leave my base alone. My place. I called it. I called Debs. Fucking back off. You may be over 20 levels higher than me, but that does not count for anything. You fucked. They just threw a grenade, didn't they? There's another guy in there. Wait, why is this not him? able to fight things at this much higher level than me. I'm not complaining though, like, we just kicked so much ass. Oh. You're hitting these guys with the medieval metal on stick hard when they can't even fly metal. It's, it's, it's very weird. Love it though. How, how shitty must they be as soldiers to be like, we have machine guns and rifles and shit. They have a crossbow and don't have any proper military armor. <laughs> and yet they're still losing. That's just sad. All over again. The boy found a truck for the team. <laughs> right, they misunderstood what you were saying. No worries. Oh, 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 no, there's another one. No one. Where is he? I remember Ark was similar, where a lot of people recommended not getting the advanced equipment, because it wasn't as cost effective, it was just using a crossbow. Let's see if we clear how that should be the them on there. Yeah. Alright boys, this is my spot now. Oh, 
Oh, I just noticed we don't have the butterfly anymore. Right shield, oh, wait, just here. Mind. Are you kidding me? Did he, he respond, didn't he? I might have to move base. Okay, how do I how do I pick this up? I get this very bad feeling if I just set this down here. The game's gonna be like, no, you can't set that up there because the enemies are gonna respawn here. Do you know what? I give in to wishful thinking. I've managed to unlock some memetics from Mitsuko. If you access them through the cradle, you'll be able to craft and build what we need. I says what to the what now? Oh, ow. various kinds of building and item formulas. We learn from memetic modes, clicking a node to view the code. Honest. It wouldn't be a crafting game without a furnace. Then, yeah. That's some basic stem vision. Okay. Alright, so we'll get this cost off. We'll get the disassembly. Oh, wait. Live tools that will come in handy during your event. We'll get the bases. We're gonna get the bases. I click that one. The calic. Oh. Basic. Things don't actually. That's one more. Time. Well, that's a Even with memetics, you still won't be able to craft anything out of thin air. You'd better gather some ore and logs. I know. I'm not even going to ask why we can't pick up the guns off the guys we just killed. Assembly bench, alright, we do that. See, this is what I like. I like how the game gives you like a step by step on what you should do and stuff. Assembly. First and foremost, we're going to work on ex expanding this. They're much more like substantial residents. So 
So, first of all, order of business. Not all the shit there. It's from nearby. And get a nice little crusty house. I'm generally just a teeny tiny little bit worried. Then in a little bit, those guys are going to respawn, swarm, start on my base. But I'm gonna, I'm just gonna ignore that, that bit in my brain and just keep, just keep building, keep building. Look at tree cutting. I watched this video a little while back about this guy who had this really really cool thing on how to effectively cut down trees and know exactly what direction it will fall in. Because the thing with tree cutting is it can be a bit hmm, what direction the tree will go in. I'm, I'm not sure what the what causes that. Maybe it's like you know how heavy the branches are on one side or something, something or other. But no, I'm not a lumberjack. But I saw this guy once where he cut like wedges into a chunk of the tree. He does, does something. I watched this a wee while back. He cut like a wedge on either side, just leaving this tiny little bit in the middle where he was able to finagle it, where when he pushed it, it went the way he wanted. This is just the probably the worst way of explaining it, but it was cool to see. All right, that's probably enough on the. I'm also realizing how the core of the trunk, uh, the tree walks through the stem, as that's the strongest part. Most of it. Hmm. That makes sense. Alright, we'll add one more, and then we'll start work on on building the wall. In survival games, the one thing you never want to be in is a situation when you're just outside start. I was, I was wondering why I couldn't hear anything for a second. I accidentally disconnected my headset. There we go. And back. Josh can have a build near Ah, that's kind of sucky. Is it? So if we put that there, that's that's a stronghold. So it doesn't let me build. It's so strange that 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 bit is a problem. Bring it. We do. Can we actually build any walls? Yes, we can. Good. I don't think we can do doors just yet. Nope. Alright, we'll start with the base. Wait, 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 wait. Can I be a... Uh, I was hoping I could be like a massive smart ass there. Just trick the game into letting me do that. Wait. 
I saying? Is that the answer? Yeah, it's table. I'm just a really, really basic. Yeah. It's nothing spectacular, but it'll, it'll do for now. First off, we'll build the supplies work. So yeah, next objective is we get all these these facilities up and get some sort of storage. Well, right, food situation is looking good. Our water situation is quite decent. So we're going to just run about and look for probably just. Game's convinced it's gravel, but I know. Is that okay. only I would stay up in a level twenty area? Walls become much more useful once you turn them into free metal. Use the furnace and electric furnaces to help more for high level ocean machine launch. Right. We have 260 health hard. Are you sick? Okay. Well, that's doing that. We'll go and go. On. Let's go hunt. Actually, that will looks like a will. Yep, I fucking knew it. 
I was like, if that's a wolf, there's no way they're, they're not going to attack as a pack, is it? And as I freaking thought, they're attacking as a pack is a boss. Uh, problems. I'm not here. You cannot prove it. Holy shit, how am I alive? I was too busy running away trying not to die. I forgot where I killed the other one. The game says I need a disassembly bench, but the one thing I really need is a freaking bench. Man, it's okay. Bandage. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Probably have bandages, don't we? Now, most ingredients and dishes have a durability which gradually decays over time. Once its durability reaches zero, the food will be spoiled. In which case, it can't, it's not recommended either. Yeah. Nice one. Okay. You can equip most items to the hotbar for easy access. I actually have a lot of food on me. We're not going to be able to use it. Where's our... Where's the medical... And like Oh what are you doing here? Speed up your material collections. When can be up? Ah, I get it. As soon as the game thinks you're struggling, it's ends up. Yeah. Both two bandages. Okay, fishing. fishing rod could be handy. Right. And healing bandages, there we go. Good. Oh, that's for bone price. Ah, uh, it doesn't help with. Uh, with my really bad health situation. Let's get that disassembly bench built. I built this thing the wrong way around. Oh no, that's no, no, fine. 
तो नहीं Can't jump resources from stronghold exploration to be broken down. Alright, so I was, I was wondering why the game was really adamant about getting this disassembly thing. And it's because of just random shit, like paintings and stuff, like go in there and get those stuff. Not a bad idea. Uh, yeah, but, uh, can we unlock a door eventually? Automotive engineer. We can straight up just build bar. <laughs> Alright, we definitely must have scraps. Huh? Scraps but yeah, we have. We have a godly amount of scrap. I don't know why the riot shield counts. Can't we just use the riot shield? Alright. Piece of four pieces. Lots of stuff. You can get some steel one. Yes. No. Yep. Storage crate. Yeah, we need that for obvious reasons. Private storage crate. Everyone needs private. Can I want to build a private one? That takes so much. To, uh, we should be just build standard one, surely. I remember when I played Ark, I was so confused what the point of a private storage container was because I was so used to like playing with friends and not any like strangers of that. I was like, why, why would I need it to be private? And then I thought for five seconds, I'm like, oh yeah, because people can steal your shit. Makes, makes a lot more sense when you think about that. Hmm. There's one chat in Russia. Okay. And then, yep. All right, what we build storage? Is storage? Oh, ooh, large crate. I think we may go for the large one. Then we're having to expend rubber, copper. Mm, nah, we're, we're doing this stand up. Stack that shit. It's like problem, isn't there? I don't know. It's the bottom one. <laughs> oh, that may have a mistake. Yeah, yeah, that was a mistake. How do I, how do I break this thing? I don't know how to break, break it. F6 and the final.
construction wall. Maybe I can do something in construction. Oh yeah, you can be actually that's really good. There we go. Not many games like this let you something like relocate things, but right. Then we can relocate the nests. Yeah, perfect. Good. That's such a small thing, but it's so appreciated. Because usually it'd be like, well, oh, sucks to be you, you're gonna have to disassemble it and build it again. Not really sure what I want to deposit. Right What's a month ruined to touch? Like 1.5 kilometers away. Jesus. We'll do that in a little bit. I think the game's assuming that I'm still back at the start of the game. Carbon fiber. We'll put carbon fiber in there. Just so that the journey thing. Uh, beds have a far more useful, yeah. That's unlike a bend. Okay, there is. Get, get a door. Get a bit. Four more points to go. I don't know if there's much point doing like fortification stuff. Yoshi. Huh, well, why not? Let's break the stone. Yeah, we'll do that. I was going to get the thing to build the weapons, but see what you could Way better long term. Uh, and <laughs> Imagine if it wasn't build a bear, it was build a bed. So. People took the kids into the shop and were like, All right, Jimmy, you're gonna build a bed for us, whether you like it or not. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny as fuck. <laughs> kid, kid is just struggling to put this freaking bed together. And the parents are just like, Well, you better get to it. Anyway. How do I get this? Do we have like anything for a door? Yeah. There is a door. Awesome. Already this looks so much nicer. Right. Oh. oh yeah, yeah, we're go to bed, weren't we? Open the menu for scenario really fun. I'm okay. Especially Ooh.
Click here and to the semantic specialization. Click to view V's presentation and learn about the random effects of different semantic specializations. Okay. Uh, gravel and log in the goal. A lot new formula, gravel and log in the goal. When in your backpack, it reduces the weight of logs. Ooh, that's handy. Every five levels, you unlock a new specialization node. Choose one of the four randomly generated enhancements. Enhancements allow you to craft different, better. Uh, basic defense, sandbags, shelters of high fortifications, again the battle harden effect, durability plus 100%. Uh, chest uh, knife, when you're when your backpack, meat yield plus 1 when full dressing animals with 36% chance to build additional byproduct. If you're playing multiplayer, getting someone specialized in like cooking, getting someone specialized in defense, you can see how that would be really handy. But single player right now? Probably going to be gravel and log in the goal. Select one of the four, yeah. Click to reset your own. Good. Four detectors scan smarts. Master the basic thing is to collect important. Yep. That's what you want to do in a survival situation. Water is the most immediate thing you need to get your hands on. Because you can survive for a while without food. It's water that will absolutely do you in really, really fast. So if you can get your hands on a tarp, you are so golden. Because it, the tarp will collect all the water without it soaking in for you to to go into a container. A drawing. A bending machine, what the fuck? That is so bizarre, okay. I still remember the first time I got like electricity working. An arc, it was such a monumental step. And we're only like four steps down in here, and there's freaking vending machines. Oh, we can modify this. What is this? Is it, why is our two? Is it like leveled up? And yep. Bed. Oh, so you can access the beds in this. I assumed there's like other games where it wouldn't let you do that. Hello, Mr. Buddy Boy. HP2 low uses synthetic bench to make medicine that can for HP. Go to synthetic lock numerous synthesis formula. I'll do that when I've got level body. Oh yeah, actually. Synthetic bench is what you want. Post now, six steps. Okay, we're almost fully. Get your ass out of the bed. Craft a copper pickaxe. We're getting hanging us. I wish we come back online when we play this again and my my house will be in the warm state.
think it's made a copy for increased gallon. Yep. A lot of mimetic gear. Gear work. Okay. Workbench. Gear up there. The game's gonna be like, now you need a gun. All come together. Hello. Yeah, as I thought, we don't have the resources to take on. That would just be insane. Oh, there's different tiers of melee weapons. There's a tier two. Baseball mount, okay. Didn't I literally just do that? The levels do the weapons do straight up level up. <laughs> oh, but the what is why is the game acting like I'm not built? Oh right, I see. I was really confused there for a second. We need to build the individual components that actually makes the thing. Okay. Alright, so we made the frame, made the recoil action, and we just need more. Was it waste plastic? Okay. We go find waste plastic, then we can make that, and then that's the gun ready to go. <laughs> then we can immediately move from crossbow to freaking pistol. Okay, I'm gonna have a wee look around and try and find last. Good. Oh god. No. I'm not here. See, that is what I was worried about.
Take on them. Oh, yeah. I'm. I'm just gonna have to not go that way now. <laughs> what a freaking place to build my base. Why the f am I using the base? Yes. Oh, okay, so there's no visual difference between the, between the standard one and the top one, okay. Oh yeah, should probably makes arrows. I'm gonna go for a little trek. The monolith thrones. And we're gonna see if I can find some plastic on me. I'm not gonna go kill those bulls again. On the plus side, you see because I built my base here. There is less chance of being bored because a lot of new players will have to run through level 28 enemies. I'll take one look at one of the guys with the guns or one of the wolves and be like, fuck this. I guess it technically has one benefit building right next to a rock in a hard place. The arrow. What is craftable? Find your backpack, it would just sell. Okay. I thought it was just straight up that upgrade, but I actually need to have it. One. While I was doing that, I'll probably organize my stuff a little bit. I've got so much stuff I probably don't have to be carrying around. Uh, I oh, I Uh, anything that I think is semi useful. What do you mean discarded? I think the game thinks that I threw that away there. Oh, never mind. Do I split? Oh. Yeah. Well, I meant this. When you first look at the system, it feels very clunky. Once you get the hang of it, it's a lot better than I was giving that credit. It's going to take a little bit for me to get you then become a lot more acclimated. This since you know we're, we don't have any controller support, which is a pain in the butt, but I still don't mind it too bad. I'm quite cool. Oh, no wonder we saw so many bases near the start because the game was probably incentivizing 
build your bases around there. I'm just like, yo, fuck you. <laughs> I'm going as far away as I can without dying. I will say though, I do feel there's a tiny, tiny little bit of a bait and switch feeling. How the way the game was marketed was it really, really leads for supernatural stuff. And then you get to the survival part and it's like, it's just an all survival craft at this stage. You know, the game we've played a million, million times. The aesthetic and the fact that we've got like a SCP butterfly and shit with us is pretty neat. In fact, it's in like a modern setting stuff. Can't really post apocalyptic, but. Uh, there, needs, there needs to be more with the crafting. I assume the crafting gets more advanced, well, obviously, gets more advanced as you get further in, but there's not enough yet for me to be that enthused. Everyone else at the stage I'm at would build my little houses. Oh shit, do you guys see that? That's a freaking bus with legs, that is. There's one of the ones with that, because that, that, that thing has appeared several times in the loading screens. So it must be like some sort of world boss that you can like choose to team up with a bunch of people to fight. Oh, I think that's rotation. Alright. Thing switched on our world. Okay. That's like the, the crystals from Final Fantasy. Oh, there's more than one. Right, 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 right. So, the, so there is actually fast travel in this game. Cool. cool. I feel like, in my opinion, the game like has been flip-flopping quite a lot because I don't want to be too lenient with it, and I also don't want to be too hard on it at the same thing. It's, it's more of a concern of worrying if this game will actually have legs or not. Because with games like this, it can either go one or two ways. It can either go... A lot of time it goes like the niche route. The niche route is the, the, the way it goes where... After like a week or two, most people stop playing it. And it's only like the really dedicated people that stick with it and the community shrinks down to like 10%-ish. And a lot of the houses get abandoned. Or the, the game just gets them abandoned in general. It's, it's not that common for games like this to get a high amount of community retention. Because there's like so many crafting games out there. <laughs> that was a bad thing though, but you know. The way it is. It's starting off that strong foot though, with the premise. The premise is really interesting. The whole SCP and, SCP and Supernatural type thing. I just feel like they can zhuzh it up a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Instead of having just like, wow, it's a countryside with trees. People's houses are built in abandoned houses. They could have like anomalies where it's just sections you walk through and it's like alien esque environments and trees and things that don't make sense. And there's storms that occur that 
spawn in just the most fucked up looking things. And who knows, they might have that down the road, but for now... I don't know. It's got promise. I will say this. All I can really say at this point. I still need to go back to playing for Power World again. I can't remember why I stopped playing that. I don't know. I think you got to a certain point in Power World, I was like, ah, uh, do you know what? I've collected enough of these pals. I've got my base running. Can't be bored working towards getting these upgrades that are going to take hours or fighting these bosses. And just basically just went back to Pokemon again. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty cool profile picture she got. Ooh, she has a little, little helper. That's cool. Ah, I wonder how long she's been playing this for. She has a lot of helpers. I think there's a little base down there as well. I drown a bit in the There's there's so many happy old places around. It's hard to think I'm definitely one of the players that's advanced decently far compared to a lot of others. That one's that one should be honest. Maybe I should put a, I should probably put like a second floor on a roof on my house. But then again, I I think maybe moving would be a smart idea because I can't build too close to that freaking stronghold I used to put myself next to. Hello? Can you get off my freaking ass? Thank you. Okay. Alright, just because I can, I'm gonna get really close to it. Uh, that's a nice running animation there. And fuck you. Oh, Mary. Good deal. Jesus, you're tall. Hands off my stuff. 
I don't see your name on it. Yeah, there is. You're pretty cocky for someone who doesn't even have a weapon. Quite impressive, to be honest. Who says I didn't have a weapon? Hold on. Is that a cradle on your back? Are you a Mayfly? Pause. How interesting. I thought I was the only Mayfly left. Wait, yeah, where's your cradle? I'm just a researcher. Not every mayfly was out there capturing deviations. We had different roles to play. I'm Mary. It's a good thing I met you. I'm thinking as fellow mayflies, we should be able to help each other out. I came here to investigate a deviation that's been causing issues. I think it's connected to a recently... It's like maybe after the same thing. Don't tell me you're going to try and take on a powerful deviation barehanded. Even an ordinary deviant could. You're pretty inexperienced. I'm going to give you a blueprint. Use it to make yourself a gun. Trust me. You'll need one if you want to stand even. While you're doing that, once you're done, come find me in Deadsville. It's the nearest survivor settlement. We can. After all, two heads are. Is that a freaking shotgun? So another Mayfly survived. I can't remember her. Hmm? My memory's been patchy ever since Mitsuko revived me, just to be safe. We better not share the existence of Mitsuko with that woman. That so you can just like strip the teleport to her, her nice. The disassembly bench will let you take objects you've scavenged. And break them down into useful materials. Yeah, so this is I love this so much more. You notice how there's like no one else has the base up here because I'm not completely insane. But if you go down there, there's like bases tripping over each other. This assembly bench allows you to take any scrap you collect and this the yay. Why am I going to the cradle again? The methods are divided into four categories. Click craft. Open the quick allocate menu. Yay. I know. I know. Open the method screen and unlock. Ah. Question. Great. We can use that blueprint to make both guns and ammo. Oh. If you want to make ammo, though, you'll need to do it at a synthesis bench. I'm meant to be here. Do I have this up? No, I don't. Oh, I need to get some safe. All right, what we're going to do is though, we're going to get out and farm some shit for this reason. Oh. Oh, Are you getting any mimetic if I don't need it? We're almost there. Discovery and what I think. Actually, you know what? That's not bad. But I need to make that way more. Once it's installed on the belt, he's like, oh. Let's 
Pretty sure I already have. Wait, what do you mean it can't be placed with? Wait, where can you place it? No, it's closed. Oh, okay. So, like, I can't put it in. Is it pissed off? Why is it not letting me click before? Oh, that sucked. Let's go to Apparently we need to all the charcoal to make a uh... like V Rising. I think it's gonna to get to a point in this game where you really want to be playing it with other people. Like rip. That way you have a lot of resources to draw from. If you're fighting enemies, you've got like you can your own stuff. It's yeah. I think eventually I need to find other people to play this with. Ooh, new body armor, blueprints. Fuck yes. Craft weapons with unlock blueprints at the gear bench, select like the higher tier to craft that weapon. That's the stat. Can also be used to repair and calibrate weapons. Oh, shotgun would be amazing right now. This has you know, bonuses. Nice. Yeah, what do you think? I just use all the I just used all the, the charcoal I've got for a stove for that. And done. Rain 
streamer. We don't have any token still. So we're gonna have to go lot. Yeah. A ridiculous man. Yeah. Hey Jade. Fuck man. Oh, getting your face mask. Okay. Right, on, nice. There we go. Alright, so we're saying we need the synthesis workbench. If we want to build ammo. Yeah, there it is. Oh, that's good. Garage. Crafting am Oh, I think I think you need it. Ten. Oh, all right then. All right, let's get some chocolate. Good copper arrow, which does not seem like it's an investment. Wait, 30 seconds. We're done. Well done. Garage. Not located. And for rocket launch. Of course, there's a rocket launch. Ah, uh, machine gun towers. Oh, the garage does it bring automatic. Territory expansion. I just, I, I see territory expansion, I just immediately think of Jujutsu Kaisen. Garage zero. Got a garage in your territory vehicle is also home. Problem is, we don't have. Ooh. We have the means to build a more bike. Let's build it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> build it and build it. Not expecting to be begin to be like, well, buddy, Good. now you can be mobile. Soon enough. Wait, I just noticed the teleportation tower was activated in Dead Zone. Did Mary do that? We can use it to teleport straight there. Open your map and try it out. Activating teleportation towers will let us get to places much faster and avoid any dangers along the way. Sunday. Why, why can I not?
substation. But no, you won't. I just said there was. I do love that the game's like, oh, teleport just back to me. You should, you really teleport over there and then like, nope, we're not like to do that. Maybe I should see if I can help it. Yeah, the game will let me. There we go. Maybe we're in range. Of this thing. It's just like a teleport. A teleportation you need to find out. Game, what do you mean there's no teleportation nearby? It's right there. Pretty sure I've activated this freaking tower before. By the way, the location we're heading for is. F oh, come on, Tyson. Yeah, the area we're heading towards is level 2, and we're like. N or something. Which game? Oh, that was like. Alright game, don't bullshit me. Teleporter should be, should be working. There we go. You made it. I'm guessing that gun served you well. Nah, not really. I just teleport. You're the one who activated this door? Yeah, this was the quickest way to bring you here. These towers are even supposed to let you travel between worlds, but I haven't been able to figure out how. Maybe you'll have more luck. Either way, I'm glad it got you here. Deadsville is the perfect place to dig up info on the area. That merchant over by the old truck looks like she digs around. Maybe she knows something useful. So, huh. I wasn't expecting that to be like just a straight up story you can follow along with. Interact with the teleportation power on a neutral stronghold or wilderness to activate it. Teleport between any two activated teleportation. Okay. That teleportation tower you can switch between worlds, open the world list at site. Okay. Okay. 
So yeah, it's basically just the, one of the major city crystals in Final Fantasy. Hey, lady. Come take a look. Anything that catches your eye, I'm always open for business. I think I'm going to jump. Saying that, but your face barely even animated. My name's Claire. Claire Lay. Normally, I'm a wandering merchant, but now I'm stuck here. I sent a team over to a place called the Rotten Manor three days ago to collect some goods for me. They never came back. It's possible that they ran off with the goods. <laughs> That's not. Just, Mary is dressed very obviously like they're red. Don't be so cynical. I've been through thick and thin with them. They wouldn't do that to me. I'm afraid that something must have happened to them. Rumor is the Rotten Manor's seen a surge of deviance recently. I suspect there's. Hey. What kind of deviation? All I know is what I heard from that well dressed gentleman over there. Oh, Wesker? Okay. I should be able to tell you. There's no question. That guy stands out. Good luck. I'll mark Rotten Man. Make sure to stock up on ammo. The only reason he stands out is because he's dumb enough to wear sunglasses when it's dark. Hey, buddy. And know the place for the first time. Through the unknown, unremembered gate. Yeah, you're rehearsing for something? Mayfly, and one who seems to be brimming with potential. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Do you know about a deviation affecting this area? You've come to the right man. I am Samuel Lowe, a humble scholar specializing in the fascinating phenomena we call deviation. Yeah, I bet that's why you have a red eye. And as for you, you seek keys with which to unlock the Dark Tower, don't you? But I'd be wary of what else you might open up. What the hell do you mean, Doc, bro? Do you always speak in riddles like I was merely setting the mood. The world still deserves something poetic. Don't you think? Don't be poetic. Me whacking you over the head with my shotgun. Now, you're interested in the deviation inside that monolith, aren't you? But the tower is locked up tight, and its keys are rift anchors across the wetlands. Rift anchors? Those things are made by Rosetta, aren't they? Activating them should give us access to the rift face inside the monolith. Spot on. And now tell me, where do you think those anchors would be? Usually places with the heaviest stardust pollution. The Rotten Manor would definitely be one of them. Indeed. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do, Mayfly. I'm sure it will be a remarkable story. By the way, I wouldn't mind adding another deviation to my collection. Well, that's a thing. You can actually collect points. We can count so few of them that it's barely even mentionable or notable, I guess. Now that we know what to do, let's split up to cover more ground. Oh, yeah. I'll find a way to hack into the monolith. Once you've Sounds like a plan. Just don't forget to bring plenty of ammo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One more thing. I have a motorcycle here you can use. That should help speed. Oh, heck yes. I call Debs. Can't complain if I ride that into, into the water now. I've got a blue marker. Hey, how did you, you know I like fire? A pleasure to meet you too. I hear you're in, I would like to help out. And perhaps in exchange, you could do a few favors for me. We can call it an ongoing partnership. Yeah. Like, boy, the heck is that? It has the appearance. 
glass of a small metal toy. It is not dangerous, so they say, but it can't be left alone. I think it is a good place to start. My sources tell me it is hidden somewhere in Fruvia. Not too far away, but... You mean Dad's film? There are others in search of such treasures. This little guy seems to be fascinated by metals and ores. If you have some... Okay. Let's scan it. Yes, and this deviation is quite unique. It comes from a far away place. The deviation itself has been around a long time. Rest assured, though, it does not have any malice towards humans. But it is not entirely harmless. As far as I can tell, and as strange as it sounds, this one is addicted to hygiene and cleaning, and becomes irritable when I suggest you prepare some food and water before you go. Although the deviation is not human. Alright, so these are, I suppose, some of the easier ones to deal with. Star. What was that thing called? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. This looks like it'd be fun to ride. Wait, what? Did we just shove an entire motorbike pocket? I was not expecting mount to be a thing. I was thinking I would do the standard thing of find vehicle, get in it, it breaks, go find another vehicle. But this is a freaking straight up spawnable motorbike. Hey Luna, I've been playing this myself. Yeah, yeah, G was seen. I think I actually saw you in, in the in-game world chat earlier as well. How you find it so far? Uh, explore the interior of Rotten Manor. Optional press key to place a campsite to activate a respawn. Ooh. Ooh, right, so you can set respawn points. Interesting. <laughs> oh my god. Is that why there's like 9,000 freaking... Campsites here. Because yes, I recognize the chat from your game. <laughs> Alright, so far? Yeah, it's not bad so far. I don't really know what to think of it so far myself. It's It's got a lot of promise. I want the Deviants to become much more of a part of it, but I think I'm probably just too early in the game to encounter too many of them. So like I'm not that fussed about the, the crafting stuff. I, ju I just want the more supernatural stuff to play. Not. You already have a campsite. Place a new campsite. We just show you. Uh, that's fine. Campsites you build in the wilderness can serve as temporary respawn points. But remember, campsites are not permanent structures. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've I've played so many crafting games at this point. It does the exact same thing. It does get a little bit old. But like the SCP stuff can... Is, is winning me over. I do like a good theme. I did a dungeon yesterday. Ooh, dungeon. I didn't even realise it was dungeon. That's game cool. Was that like the monolith thing they keep mentioning? This might be a weird, weird comparison, but um, this is making me think of Secret World. You know the thing with the, the Illuminati versus the Templars versus the was it Dragon? Was it? Yeah, there's a couple of main, main story missions ahead of where you're at. Ah, got you, got you, got you. Yeah, I think we found Claire's goods. Too bad her team didn't make it though. Look at this substance. It must have come from that 
Oh shit. Is that a freaking minigun? That's a yeah, that's a freaking minigun. Thank you, butterfly. Why did that lock pick on me? <laughs> the butterfly helped a lot. Like the shotgun was in Stay B, stay B that mini. Yeah. The shotgun wasn't doing much there, but as soon as I used the butterfly, the butterfly just ate right through it. Uh, look for mysterious creep, find weapon and armor. Yeah. Hopefully we can get a minigun at some point. That would be cool. Well, let's look over. Two point seven. Oh wait, yeah, I see. That's a bit further, isn't it? I hope we can find each other. Yeah, that'd be that'd be cool. I didn't even realize it was a server you were in. I just, the game kind of forced me to pick the server because it would not let me pick any other ones. Same. So, yeah. It's it's weird how it's like that. I tried multiple times to pick a server that had low population. The game would not let me. The game was like, oh, that's. This server has too much activity. I'm like, come again? The, the server with the low population has a lot of activity? Hmm. Okay. Strange. Oh, shit. Someone really wanted to build the tower. I think someone's been playing a bit too much Fortnite looking at that. Or definitely. <laughs> I'm not saying I know where it seems like you can't get in any of the build from most films. I read an article which said that people are preparing building over killing it. Uh, of course. Not as long as they're having fun. What was that? Oh! Get wrecked! Alright, where's this mystical expansion? Oh, oh shit. Oh, 
Whatever the hell that sound is, I don't like it. At least you find clothes I'm still walking around in the forest of sun. <laughs> no, I didn't I didn't actually find them Luna, I craft them. Because yeah, I had that problem as well, I could not find them at all anywhere. Oh good, I found a mystical crate. Yeah. I'm gonna go to sleep, have a nice night well. Yeah, no worries, creative buddy. Go have a nice sleep. Right, where's these weapons? Stay there. Stay there. I've, I've turned off all like mics and interaction abilities for random people on me because yeah you, you just you just cannot trust like random people on an online server that you, when you're streaming if I check the map it will show me what I sent a click for my my player to collect water and walked away from the PC and forgot it keeps going to tell it to stop. Oh jeez. Well at least you've got a lot of water to be hydrated. I couldn't imagine your character's back though just basically carrying a water towers worth of water. Die, son of a bitch! I love this baseball bat. Oh. I do. Uh, I think he's broken. I like him. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, that's a general thing! Yeah! That was the anomaly that was mentioned earlier. What the hell did I do with it? When my head to bed was just a short visit as I noticed you're playing the game. Hope rest of the stream goes well. Thanks, Luna. Thank you very much for popping in. I hope you have a nice, nice sleep. How do I get this thing food? I like drop in the floor or? I was not expecting to find any, yeah. You know, you could learn a thing or two from this thing. Oh. So yeah, I can't actually attack. Yeah, no idea. Tasks. Should have the task again. Okay, um. Mention the generals have existed for a very long time. You have to treat them here. Express your welcome 
I respect the generous food. What do you like? Oh. Ah, that makes sense. How the fuck do I do that? I've done it before, I just can't remember. Uh, how do I. How do I do Thing I'm drinking. What? Oh. oh, I hate when this stuff happens. Or what the button? Okay. Okay, what? Not seeing the option. I know you can do it more. So I like just cannot remember how you do it. Oh, that's gonna bug the crap at me. Me. Do we know from... Oh, right. We have to the Wikipedia. <laughs> okay. We have five quite seconds, guys. I'm going to Google this. Because of course I am. I turn more there. Press X to right. Button. I like them no emotes. Use the most open inventory, go to the cosmetic. Like, ah, right, so we need to sign them. So this thing wants it respect. What if, what if it buried towards it? Anything? Nope. Right. There we go. Yes! Hell yeah, we got it.
so, um, so we can end up taking that back and maybe create like a containment for it. So we can use that along with the butterfly. See, that's the kind of thing I was looking for with this game. Be able to find like really weird shit roaming around randomly. And then you'd be able to catch it and stuff and use it for yourself. That's good stuff. What is 0 0.7 kilometer one? Oh, bugger. I was like, what? Why the fuck did the Oh, Christ. So that's why it suddenly threw me off the bait. Wait, what? The fuck is this thing? Okay. It comes with Yes! Oh, it's an old deviant in here. I love him. I love him so much. He looks so freaking awesome. Look at that. And participating about oh uh marking enemies or something tentacles. What's inside the territory will discover Right, so you can Right, so we can take that back to our house and it like cleans up stuff. Oh god, I love it. I love them so much. If we can find it just find like cool as shit, maybe on a boss into like a little companion or something. Oh yeah, I vibe with this real real good. Um, bake. Fuck, oh, there is. Ah, uh, wait, wait, wait. Why is, why is my mission? Then, which one? Damn it. Yeah, that's okay. We'll probably clear up both these towns and then. Oh. Yeah. No, no, no. We'll clear up this next location and then we'll probably wrap up there for the day. I think this is probably a. This has been a really good first look at the theme so far. Wait a second, this is a copy and paste of house for an earlier. Yeah, this is an exact copy and paste of house for earlier. Even as a weapon, creating the exact same place. Oh shit, do you know what that's going to mean? It's going to mean if we see this house in one of these regions in the future, that's going to automatically be the house that has the weapons created in it. What the fuck? Hey, 
Hey you. And you're dead. Taking that into account. Oh, there's actually two weapon armor for this game. Hmm. Hello. And bye bye. How's it going? Thank you so much for the raid, guys. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Fairly. You guys, what are you playing? Oh, you're playing Zenless Zone Zero. Nice. How far did you guys get in it? Did you get any good S rank characters? How's the game going? It's treating you? It's actually going not too bad. It's not crashed, it's not broke. No one has been mean. That's been pretty chill. It's a lot of crafting and supernatural shit. Jojo does a Jojo pose. Hell yeah. Once you in, yeah. Of, of course, Gordy. Of course, Gordy comes in with that emote. Got some, got some of my bad luck with gadgets. Oh, that sucks. Fail. Let's go. Yay. <laughs> and thank you for the headback, Gordy. Thank you. What's ever? I want to be mean to you. I'm not sure what server it is, and yeah, I'll just you know what? I'll exit the game real quick, and then we'll see what server is. Uh, do I re-log in? Re-log in. Oh yeah, and before I forget, uh, for anyone that doesn't know, I am Nemraka. I'm a Dragon Cultist VTuber. I play RPGs and generally whatever the hell I feel like. I hope you enjoy your stay. <laughs> Today we're just trying to figure out what the hell once human was because. I I did not know anything about this game when I started playing it. Like literally nothing. So I came into this being like Dragons, oh. they kill people. Yeah they do. Yeah, I came into this being like, it looks cool. Does it play cool? And so far it feels like something like Ark or Rust, but with supernatural stuff. I love one assume it's so fun. Yeah, I'm starting to deal with it as well because I'm finding like SCP characters out in the out in the world and I'm catching them, and I've not like used them from like my base or anything. But I I've seen someone out there that had like a really dedicated base with like, all these little helpers with square heads mining stuff. It it looks pretty good. All right, so here's the server I'm on right here, Anya. Uh, PVE zero one dash zero 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 seven four. It's an open world survival SCP ish MMO. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting that from it. I hope the crafting gets a little bit better. The gra crafting feels a bit basic for now, but. It's not too bad, though. I'm uh, going to have a look at it for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, it's a fun time, Maple. Alright, let's get back in. Uh, new set. What? The sky was sh shrouded in gloom as though the sun has been obscured by the hand of a giant. Oh! Before I forget. Uh, Fel, if you need to go get something to eat, go get something to drink, just chill and just generally just relax after your stream. <laughs> the the gacha was not, not nice to you, so you, you deserve a rest. I can hear the gacha is so rough. And Zenless Zero is so freaking rough. I've somehow managed to get two S ranks so far. Three, if you count the one that was a duplicate. It's like, ah, uh, really? Duplicate? Ah. Uh. They changed the crafting a lot from closed beta? Hmm. Uh, sky was shrouded in gloom as though the sun had been obscured by the light of tentacle. 
is cool. Oh, chapter one. Oh, chapter one, what? Uh, complete main story task in the Iron River to unlock Emerald okay. Uh, navigate to season goals. To... Yeah. You're a bit thirsty, okay. Experience. So yeah, I've not gotten too far into the game. I've I've gotten as far as building a really really small base, and now I'm doing one of the main missions, which is going to the towns, to activate the rift anchors, and basically just find weapons and armor and stuff. Is that okay? We're getting to that roof. Is there rare team weapons? Uh, there. No, no, no. There definitely is a rare team weapons because earlier on I picked up a rare magnum. I was I wasn't sure for a second there, then I remembered. Yeah, but definitely is. Come on, pick up the friend. Okay, I saw this the weirdest thing on this roof earlier. What the hell is it? There is. Oh, you're the thing that I was told to go find. Hello. Yeah, Dibby. There you go, little buddy. Hell yeah. That's for sure. Let's take it back and see what Rose thinks. Nice. Uh... So we've found the two SCP things we're supposed to be finding already. Wait until you get your hands on the, the, the there's a fish weapon? Like an actual like marlin or something you swing around and stab people with? Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> oh 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 oh. Like the heck out of things with a fish. <laughs> yeah, oh! Yeah, that never gets old. The melee weapon, yeah. Perfect. Plus it frag. Oh. Alright, that's Druville finished. Just one more. Then we can head back to Deadsville. Where the hell did I leave my bait? Where do you decide to build your base at? I, I went really far north. <laughs> I, I built my base in a really, really stupid location. I, I built it next to a stronghold. And a bunch of level 23 enemies. Very, very stupid. <laughs> There's no other players there though. So... So... Good? Maybe? I mean, chat saw it earlier on. I took out an entire group of guys with guns with just my crossbow. Oh, red calves. Yeah, give me that shit. Red calves. Oh, what did these belong to another player? Like a name associated with it? Oh well, it's mine now. 
Thankfully, you can move your hope. Oh, I thought I saw that earlier. See, that's that's brilliant, though. I've... Oh, not if. Like, like you're saying, being able to move your whole base. That's like a really good quality of life feature. Got no two. Hell yeah, hell say, buddy. We can all jump into the same server and build a massive ass freaking base. And collect SCP things everywhere. I may need to see if I can make a cat on yours. Yeah, awesome, man. Yeah, cannot wait. <laughs> Just get everyone up in here. Like, I, I was saying earlier, I was a little bit apprehensive. Worrying, like, I'd get into the game and be like, you know, really clunky, or be monetized shit, or it would just be full of the worst people, but no, it's actually it's fairly decent. Sometimes it's a really, it's really good to go into games blind, because you get nice surprises like this. I will, I guess, one about one. Oh, what is it? What, 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 I get off the bike. They have a gacha system you unlock. Oh, right, okay. Is it like gacha to get some of the SCP creature kind of things, or? Because as long as it's not too predatory, I don't really mean too much. Ah, oh, okay. Mm, that's a bit... Nah, it should be fine. If it was a PvP server... Yeah, that would suck. But it's a, it's a PvE ser server, so we should be fine. Is that because they cut... Oh, of course. Zing. Yeah, Spooder. There's, a, there's robot Spooders. There's also train Spooders as well. Big, big green spooders. Oh, thank you for the push check. There's ways to pull without paying money. Hell yeah. That's about the only thing I didn't really like. Good. Oh, hydrate and strikes. Thank you. Thank you. Help check before I sleep. Thank you, Vizzy. I hope you have a good sleep. Oh, stretch. There we go. And get wrecked. Nice. Yeah, there, there is a big spooder you might not like. Uh, what the? Uh, okay. Did you get the work? No, 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 no. I, I got the one read. Unless OBS is fucked up. Yeah, arachnophobia one because I don't think they added an arachnophobia. Let's double check. Arachnophobia more. I don't think they did either. But I'll have a look. Boomping controls, video. Three. No, that doesn't, that doesn't appear to be an arachnophobia mode. Now, granted, the things that are spiderish, they're only spiderish because of the amount of legs they have. And I guess they scuttle a little bit. Okay, how much damage can you do? Oh, I can do this. I can do this. What they do, I don't know. You'll be fine, buddy. There's. The spidery things aren't too spidery. Shit. That just added a lot of damage. But like I say, the more run real estate, the better. Yeah. You'll be fine. Do not stamp. Fuck, 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 fuck. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. No, we're fine. Come on. Yes, sir! Uh! Uh, 
Nice, uh, nice team effort. Where's the drop? Does it have a human cost to catch that? Let me. Oh, oh, no, uh, ah, fuck it. Let's go meet Mary. Wait, did someone just teleport their entire. Alright, there we go. <laughs> ah, do you want, do you want, I'm gonna teleport my house. How do I how do you teleport your house? What the fuck is this? With our announced that once human is officially released, we extend our okay. I get dragon fist glove. That's just that's just perfect. It's it's a name of science. Oh 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 oh. Why am I getting shot? Yeah, Destiny. Ah, uh, right. Let's get these gloves on. What? Can I just... Can I just get gloves? Uh... Okay. All right, never mind. How do I transport my base? I and mean, then you should have a sound alert created. Have you seen gear? Gear boost. Yeah, that'd be a good one. <laughs> Joe, you know, I I should have a trigger like whenever I like. Oh, wait, why, why is this why is this not in? Uh stream deck, please just work with me for five seconds. There we go. <laughs> I should have it where, where whenever I put my helmet down, it just automatically plays that sound. Then the layer. Um why is why why is stream deck being weird? Oh, there we go. Right, yeah, how do I how do I transport my base to the new location? Oop. Oop. Oh, move territory, maybe that's yes, that's one. Once a relocation starts, all builders and structures will move directly to the new location where furniture and facilities will be disassembled and saved in your territory. Relocation is. Okay. Go! My house is now here. That's probably for the best. Because <laughs> I had it like up. Craft armor with unlocked blueprints at the gearbook workbench. It's like the higher tier to craft armor with better stats. Okay. I wonder if I just unlock the dragon gloves, maybe. 
Kommt unser Wasser dann. Oh. Anja, find the weapon. How do I look? You just got carefully. Okay, let's go. Crap. This thing costs so much sanity. Consumes five sanity and deals one. Sci intensity plus five effect lasts for three seconds and can stack up to. It causes psychic damage or sanity damage, technically. <laughs> That's so bizarre. And it's, it's, of course, it's better than my current baseball bat. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> How the hell did I even get a paint? Not complaining, though. Alright, we got a submachine gun. And the shotgun. Are you insane for using a fish as an animal? Uh, as a weapon? What your animal? Well... Alright, where's, where's the nearest thing I can hit? Where is it? Yeah, I know you did. Ooh! Hello? Goodman Quadrio invites you to share the strange and unusual things you have seen. Now let's take a call from a listener called Mark. My sister stumbled across a huge toy rabbit downstairs. It was old and worn out, but it was also very cute. She brought it home with her and it really brightened up the place. But then something strange happened. My sister started clinging tight to the toy and wouldn't let go. It was too good to not to. <laughs> yeah. She seemed absolutely entranced. She seemed she said that the toy was suffocating her, but it made her happy. She looked over at me and then her eyes turned the same bright red colour as the rabbit. Ooh. Yeah, that didn't that didn't end well for her. That guy is lucky there's no PvP. I was gonna just about to run up and slap him in the face with the, the fish. Oh, there we go. There's a the target. There we go. Hello! You fucked. Oh, there is a lot of phone boost. Let's see what this one says. Hello? In the daytime wetlands, you can reach up as we have four telephone. Boost. The signals from these four booths are intertwined into four pointy stars below. The signal surrounds the church town and returns to the abandoned house in the marsh. Listen to the, what, what the world has to tell you. Feel the guidance of the radio waves. The answers you have been dreaming of can be found at the spot where the radio waves... Oh, hell safe. This is the thing I was wanting to tell you about over here. The thing that's similar to spiders. Just so as you're aware. I should probably not get too close to it, but I'm going to do it anyway. How much health does this thing have? Not spider boss. Well, it's, it's the closest thing I've seen to something that's spider-like. Oh, fuck. Oh fuck. Wait, what? Oh, was that now? Oh! Let's see you can claim and see where it stops, okay.
I, I got stuff. Let's get the nose. So it's a it's a daily location. Huh. Bring it. I've got the fish. You think you're inflicting sanity damage? What do you think about this? Oh, when my brother has a leak and lags it. Ah, oh, sucks, Phil. What bros are you using? I could not tell you the last time I got that. I'm currently on Google Chrome. Opera DX. Ah. I saw that they're having like a big advertising campaign recently. Or advertising push. I guess it's the same thing. The big spider boss is much later in the game, so you won't see it for a while. Oh, Alright. I'll. I look forward to that, Anya. This route has a memory leak, but they all have it. Hmm. That's a bummer, though. One of the things she's most often your computer is like, well, we're gonna, we're gonna eat up chunky memory so you can, so your computer lags to hell. Get off the bike. Get off the bike. Oh, beeps. That was all this. And four. Right, what do we have in terms of water? I'm running dangerously low on it. Ooh, demo, there we go. Get quick sleep. I love when I hear things that you can when I'm trying to take a nap. By the way, I think that's probably where I'm going to leave the game for today. It's... What time is it right now? It is... Yeah, I've got geez. Yeah, I need, to go, I need to go get food. I've actually not eaten anything today. Uh, yeah. That probably wasn't smart. <laughs> it happens. It happens. <laughs> I'll get food now, Anya. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll get it in just just a minute. Once once we wrap up the stream, <sighs> give myself a nice free, free stretch. So one soon, human, actually, it's won me over. I'm quite enjoying this. At first I thought with the crafting thing it was like very basic and there wasn't much to it, but having everything else added on where it was where you get the collection thing, the SCP features, you get the missions, and there's a main storyline, and the fact you can move your base around. Yeah, I'm I'm seeing a lot more positives than the negatives. There's been no crashes, there's been no real performance issues. Uh, besides like a little bit earlier on where there was a cutscene, but besides that, I can't complain. I generally can't complain. <laughs> Which is rare for me because I am I'm got a real proclivity towards complaining. It's definitely a slow start, but picks up that yes, it's really getting there. I can't wait to see what other like 
things I can like catch or like equipment I can make. Alright. Well, let's see who's online now that we can raid a lot. I think we raided Ace last time, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over to someone else. Oh! You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna raid another Dragon VTuber. And I've I've not checked out this other this other uh, dragon VTuber, but they've got an awesome design, so I want to see what they're what they're up to. Right, maybe they're currently doing just chatting. Let me just I'll have a wee look at the stream before we head over there. Ah, uh, one more Oh, they're they're on the stream. Oh, they look so cool. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be good. They'll just start on the stream. This is perfect. This is the perfect thing for a raid. <laughs> well guys, thank you so much for coming today and thank you for the raid, it means so much. Uh we're going we're I'm gonna be streaming again on Wednesday with Hellsave and Bell doing some art, doing some painting. That's gonna be such a swell thing. So I'll see you then guys. Uh for now we're gonna be raiding now and just hold on to your butts. And here's a raid message if you're not subscribed, and here is a raid message if you are subscribed. Make sure to copy that down. And thank you so much for being here, guys. I, I freaking love you all, and I appreciate it. Alright, let's show how great this community is. Let's go, let's do this. And thank you for the head fire, thank you.